Hi, it's Ian from Apex Van Life, and today we're going to show you through uh, the video and instructions for Casper and Muse. Uh, these two vehicles are virtually identical. Um, we're going to show you through Muse, which is here with us at the moment, and then tell you a little bit about what slight differences there are between the two. But uh, the first thing to do is to get into the vehicle, and it's a standard VW key to open the vehicle and the little press out where the key flips out. Uh, people will be familiar with those. But once you're inside the vehicle, uh, you can see that um, it's all pretty standard VW. Um, you've got the key, which has a keyhole, and you can turn to start. Um, everything else about it, indicators are on the left-hand side, wipers are on the right. Um, you can Bluetooth to the stereo. The gear shift is pretty, pretty straight up and down. The handbrake is a, a typical handbrake. Um, so very easy to use, very standard VW. Um, they're the only things to notice. Um, uh, Casper and Muse have both been fitted with upgraded headlights. So if you're doing any night driving, you will notice um, the better quality of the, uh, the headlights and also um, some very high quality driving lights as well. So if you're doing night driving, it'll be like it's daytime. Uh, but um, they're the main things to note. Um, other than that, we'll show you through the rest of the vehicle. So to access the camper van from the side, um, it's either the side or the back. Um, you'll see inside here, there's um, a bit going on, um, but you've got this here, which is your fridge, which you can open up and the fridge opens up. Um, the fridge should be set on around about three degrees to run as a fridge. All the settings will be on that. It should be on battery save mode and on about three degrees, so eco mode, and running at about three degrees. That'll make sure that your battery lasts days and days and days. The battery is charged from the solar panel on the roof, uh, which is if you camped up and have some sun, that battery will keep going. It's a, a pretty substantial lithium battery, and the battery's running that fridge and the freezer. The, um, the thing about that is, if the fridges are set on battery save mode or on modest temperatures, for a freezer, zero degrees is enough. Uh, they can be turned down to like minus 18 and the, the drawer will freeze itself shut. Um, but if you run it on zero and run on eco mode, that battery will last for days and days. Um, the battery is also, of course, charged when the engine is running. So if you do ever run low, take the vehicle for a short drive or idle the engine for a while and the battery will recharge quite quickly. Um, but that's pretty much, there's no requirement to plug into a powered campsite or 15 amp power. Um, if you do plug into that, it'd only be to run um, your own devices that you want to run from a powered site. So um, you've got a couple of things here. You've got the table, which is stored behind the fridge to come out. And the fridge, of course, has on these slides, just sort of put these down. A little, little bit awkward here to clip them down. And then the fridge just slides out and you can access your table. Oh, and you're out, and the fridge is out. Comes out that far. Um, both Casper and Muse have um, a swivel seat on the passenger seat. So they're operated, um, won't be able to show you, but under the front here, you'll see there's a little lever. When you push that lever down, it allows you to swivel the seat around. So when you're parked up and the fridge is slid out, you can actually turn that seat all the way around and it's quite a comfortable spot to sit. Um, and to swivel it back, you again, you just push that lever down, which is under here, and that whole seat swivels around. Uh, you just need to make sure you're in the right position so you're not hitting the sides of the vehicle to swivel the seat around, but it's all, you'll work it out. It's all pretty straightforward. Um, the other things inside here, First thing you'll notice, the blue light here turns on the inverter, which is underneath here, and this will give you the fairy lights in the vehicle on. Um, so the kitchen is stored under here in what we call the vantry. You have another drawer fridge in here, which you can use as a fridge or a freezer. Um, you have the sink and cold water tap. You have a porta potty, um, and there's a 
container for the sink to drain into. So if you use a sink and drain it, you'll need to take that container out and dispose of it in the grey water or down another sink. Um, but it basically is a holding area for the sink water and then uh, it can be tipped out at a convenient time and place. So there's also a hatch up here which is really good. Make sure it's closed while driving. You just spin the hatch and it opens. Um, there we go. I'm just about to go. And you, hatch, you make sure that that hatch is obviously closed when you're driving off. Um, all the curtains, you can just remove the bands and give yourself privacy. Um, and we'll show you the bed from the, the rear of the vehicle in one moment. Um, all right, we'll take you through the back. So to um, access the back of the vehicle, lift up the tailgate. And you'll see there's uh, quite a few things happening in the back here. Um, the bed has a really, really high quality mattress. Uh, they're very comfortable. Um, you'll have a great night's sleep on it. Uh, with Casper and Muse, they are smaller beds. Some people will fit east-west. But for people who are a little taller, um, I recommend sleeping north-south. And that's where you use this bench, uh, which fits into the kitchen area and then you use these pillows on top of the bench and you put your feet up that end. And that just gives you that bit more room to stretch out and uh, makes for a much more comfortable night's sleep. Uh, you've got the mattress protector there to cover the mattress as well. Um, this is where the chairs are stored. And you also have a table that will slide out here. There's a latch and the table slides out uh, with all your things on top there, which you remove. Um, and you also also have a drawer which has lots of goodies in it. So it has this, this table extender as well. So the table extender, you need to get it the right way and it just clips into the grey part of the drawer and drops down like that. So it actually has a little handle, handy uh, bottle opener in there, but by the time you combine that with the table, it gives you a fair area to work with. In here you've got a butane single burner cooker, dust pan, um, you've got a mallet, you've got um, some tent pegs, you've got a 15 amp cable, you've got um, some LED lights that can plug into the uh, control panel there and give you extra light around the vehicle. And you've got your hose for refilling the, um, the water tank. So all contained in that area. Um, and we'll just put this one back. Like that. And clip and it's all back in. So there's a lot happening in that area as well. Um, so the other things to know here for filling water, this is where you fill the water. It's a 54 litre water tank. And when it's full, the water will come out of the overflow pipe here. So that water can be accessed from the sink um, as cold water. And what we also have in Casper and Muse is a portable um, hot water system. So this is stored in here. You just got to unclip it. be able to get that in a moment. There we go. Unclip the system. So remember this is um, going to emit fumes so should be used outside of the vehicle and the way this works this connection here is for the inflow so it connects onto the water inlet. We haven't clipped it and then all the other components you need are in here. So this is a shower head that will connect to the outlet. Uh, the same here, clip that onto there. And then you've also got the power supply. So this one connects into um, the pump power. 
and then it goes into one of the cigarette lighter sockets which are here, up here on the control panel. And then you've got power. That one's a USB. You've got power here. And the thing's on. So, um, to get water flowing through it, obviously you need to turn the water pump on and you need to open this and it will let water come down to this pipe. Make sure you close that again when you finish because otherwise this water pump, um, water will just be pouring out of that hose if it's not connected to anything. And you can control your temperature here. Maximum is the best setting. It's not too hot. It's a nice, you know, nice temperature on maximum. And of course, it has its own proprietary uh, gas bottle, which is a screw on. Um, that will last ages, to be honest. You don't really use that much water, but there's a spare gas bottle in the driver's door pocket, and there's spare butane gas bottles for the cooker in the driver's pocket as well. So that gives you a really nice, warm, hot shower, which is really, really nice to have when you're a bit salty or a bit dusty. And of course, if you want, the, uh, there's a shower awning up here on the side of the vehicle, which you can do. Uh, you can use that for your shower or you can use that for your porta potty and have it outside when you're camping. So just back to this area for a moment and you'll see there's plenty going on in here. Um, so this is where the inverter is. You can see these are the fairy lights plugged in. There is a USB point as well for charging. Um, and you can see the green light so it's on. You can turn it on and off here as well. Um, or at the remote switch which we showed you earlier. Um, you'll see on, on the control panel, 13 plus volts is where it should be reading at most times. It may go down to 12s at various times, but shouldn't really go much lower than 12. And you can see on the displays here, the uh, engine battery and the house battery, you know, how much charges in each of them. And then you've got the things you need to turn on that are all labelled here. Uh, so you turn on what you need. Water pump you should only put on when you need to use it. Um, the fan and the lights, uh, these are extra lights that are fitted in news. Um, and you've got the fridges um, as well to switch on when you need them. So only use the ones that you need. And of course there's plenty of um, 12 volt and some USB points on here that have got power all the time. Um, other than that, the fire extinguisher is there as well, hope you don't need that, but it's there in case. Um, but other than that, um, that's everything that you need to know about the control panel. Um, we'll take you through and show you a couple more things. So as I mentioned earlier, um, these are the spare gas for the companion hot water system and spare gas for the cooker. All the instruction manuals for various things are also in here as well. So the other big feature of this vehicle is the, um, the 270 degree batwing awning, um, which is a really cool awning. Um, once you unzip it, uh, the zip might be up here. Yeah, just open up the red tag. Right, once you unzip it, there are a couple of Velcro straps to undo. And the awning's best pulled out with the tailgate down at first. So there's a strap like this hanging down, which is the one to get. You literally just walk it round. And then you can open this up a bit. Clip it onto one of these eyelets up here. 
and then simply tighten the tighten that up to give some tension on it and it will hold the awning nice and tight now if you come back around you can see you've got an enormous area under shade around the vehicle uh, there are some cables um, special pegs and extra straps to strap the awning down if you wish but our view is to use the awning only when you need it uh, when you're with the vehicle don't leave it out put it away when you're not there just to avoid wind damage um, that can come from unexpected winds uh, but you can see it's a fantastic awning with plenty of room and of course it's safe to open the tailgate uh, when that awning's up it all just sort of sits there and works together so um, this is an incredibly well set up van and packs a lot of punch into a very compact van um, so we've got um, a lot of things going on a lot of features in the van and uh, we hope you enjoy your travels in Casper and Muse uh, we will give you a few little tips on what's different about the two, uh, but other than that, safe travels. So one little difference between uh, Casper and Muse, Casper of course the white van with the cool little Casper on here, um, is the, um, the rear tech step and the tow bar. So Casper can take one of our bike racks which are optional. Uh, so if you do want to take your bikes, Casper can fit a bike rack. Uh, Muse unfortunately doesn't have a tow bar, so uh, no bike racks on that one. All the best and safe travels.